Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already I would like you to subscribe to my channel so you can continue to receive notifications when I upload new content. Your likes and your subscribes help me to continue keeping this channel going and uh, to continue to bring you new content daily. So today we're going to be talking about St. Andrews and how to birdie the first two holes. We'll be setting the pin position to easy and uh, screen speed will set to fast and wind speed will set to low. Nothing too serious but just want to give ourselves a good start to potentially birdieing these two holes. Alright so as you can see this is one of the easier holes in the game. Very straight hole nothing too complicated, no hazards to really worry about except for the water over here but at 340 yards, 335 yards that uh, hazard is going to be out of the way alright so we want to give ourselves maximum distance on the ball so we'll add or reduce the spin full power and try to hit the ding <coughs> Right, ball kicked and rolled quite a bit, leaving us 55 yards to the flag. All right, so for this we are going to be using a 60 degree wedge. You'll notice that the wind is coming in from the right. We have a right to left wind. It does have a slight, it is slightly tailwind as well. Definitely want to be aiming right over here right of the flag. We know that the wind is going to push the ball back to the flag and we want to use 54, 55 yards of power, maybe 56 yards of power due to the fact that the wind is coming from the side. It's going to increase the distance that the ball travels ever so slightly. We'll use about 92 to 93 percent power with a touch of backspin and do our best to hit the ding. Alright, so we're going to go for 92 yards of power, 92 percent. Hit the ding. And there we have a very close shot. Alright, so as you can see, we're left with a very makeable putt. We'll do a mulligan on that one and give it maybe just a touch more power, see if we can get it a bit closer. Aim outside the right edge again due to the wind. This time we'll give it about 93% power. No heartbeat on that one. It's strange because I did give it a little bit more power yet it fell slightly shorter. Alright, let's take one more mulligan. Same story. Touch of backspin. Aim outside the right. Let the ball feed its way back to the hole. Alright, we have a heartbeat again. And we're left with a easy birdie. So what you want to do here is you can read that the green is definitely going from left to right as indicated by the balls falling across the screen. Alright, so we'll be aiming outside the left edge, let the ball feed its way back into the hole. Easy enough. And that is how you birdie the first hole at St. Andrews. Very easy. Let's move on to the second hole. Alright, so this hole, another straightforward hole. We're heading straight into the wind. Into a 10 to 12 mile an hour wind. So the ball is probably not going to go much more than 
290 yards. Another ding. Alright, close to 300 yards. Leaving us 94 yards to the pin. I'm going to add about 4 to 5 yards of power due to the wind. We're heading into a tailwind. Uh, the wind is coming in from the left, so we want to aim left of the flag. The slope is also coming left to right, so once the ball lands it is going to spin a little bit to the right. So we want to aim the ball here, hopefully land, spin towards the hole, and finish very close for a birdie. Alright, we'll be using a touch of backspin. Hitting about 99% power. Right, that's very, very short. I'm surprised it's that short. Let's give it another bash. This time we'll use 100% power. Aim slightly left of the flag. 100% power. Easy enough, simple birdie from there. Alright, you can see this is quite a slope coming in from the left to right, but won't be difficult to sink it. Just aim left edge, let the ball feed its way back down to the hole. And there we have it two birdies on the opening two holes at St Andrews done with relative ease. I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Thank you for watching.